Chris new Evans. Evans. Nice. Sculpted that to look like Chris Evans some time ago. <laughs> and um, actually for a little while put his head on my Parker body with my Parker cap. Um, and I photographed it because Chris Evans owns the original Fab One number plate. Oh wow. Um, and you know, see, might be interested. This actually head now belongs to my friend here, Larry. And um, we're going to see if perhaps it might do a little bit of promotional work for Chris's charity, as Chris is promoting um, breast cancer charity. And uh, there is going to be a pink Rolls Royce that's going to be hired out to whoever wants to hire it for a period of a year, I believe, um, at any time during that year and the money is going to go to the Chris Evans' breast cancer charity. Great. So, who knows, we're, we're going to see if he might be interested in um, a puppet head of his image somehow to help promote the charity, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Doctor Who. See these com rocks over here. Yeah. The lovely Mark over there. That's maybe one of these lovely com rocks. Oh, I have a com rock. <laughs> he probably knows a good friend of mine called Tony Barnes.
so that you can be, feel more at home with your surroundings. If you'd like to follow me, you step through a portal in your own time to uh, arrive here in the Supreme Headquarters Alien Detainment Area. We call it Sharda. Perhaps you've heard of it? Uh, maybe it's lost to your memory. It was once operated by the Time Lords, but since the Time War it's fallen to us guardians to maintain the facility. So, would you like to come here and stand against the wall? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you'd like to ask any questions as we go, please don't hesitate to. Have you come to release me? Alas, no, my friend. But don't worry, your time will soon come. The creature here is about to be entered into a stasis field, like so many of the other creatures here on Sharda. For example, the, the Ood is the latest addition to the menagerie. Um, we, we are... What do you require? What do you require? Please, do you require? don't be fooled by its willingness to serve. On a number of occasions, the Ood have been manipulated for evil purposes. What you're doing here is wrong. Sharda should not exist, not now. It serves no legitimate purpose. You must leave here. The Guardian will show some respect to my guests. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, please. Do not fear the reptile. I've had its poison sacs removed. It cannot harm you. Please, come this way. There is much to see. Please, you must leave. You are Just all in danger. Silence, reptile. Back to your workstation. Just stand against the wall. There we go. Here we have, ladies and gentlemen, a silent uh, a recent acquisition. Very difficult to catalogue because it edits the memory. Therefore, you never remember seeing it. You remember seeing it, sir? No. Brilliant. There you go, you see? It works. <laughs> this here is a clockwork droid which we acquired from the spaceship Madame de Pompadour, which was circling the planet Earth. Another recent acquisition. Now, if you'd like to follow me, we go down a darkened corridor. Mind the step to your right. It's not there to trick you. We'll head to the left and into the nerve center of Sharda. So please, take a seat to your left hand side. Make yourselves at home, most comfortable. There we go. Oh, don't fear my pets. They, uh, they look more harmful than they are. <laughs> make yourself at home, there you go. I'm sure we won't make one for you, right? Just take a seat. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> right, <laughs> behave yourself. <laughs> yes, yes. Back to your workstation. You, back to the workstation. Um, the creatures you see here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, were once human until they had their DNA spliced with animal kind in order to serve the Daleks. I allow these to a certain degree of freedom about the place. They make very useful servants. Over here, we have a very interesting creature. It's a robot servant from the Titanic. Uh, that's the Starliner Titanic, not your ill-fated Earth vessel. We salvaged this because the head of the corporation, one Max Capricorn, decided he was going to use them to kill off the passengers and crew. His intentions were to crash the spaceship and claim on the insurance to fla build his flagging empire. He's obviously never made any insurance claims. So, as you can see, we have a, a great array of aliens and specimens amongst the exhibits here on Sharda. However, the collection is far from complete. And that is where you come in. <laughs> Humans have contributed so many wars, atrocities, and criminal activities throughout the years. So therefore, I think it only fitting that you have a place reserved for you. You will all be held in stasis until we are ready for you. <laughs> How fitting that you should come so willingly. What? Yes, yes, back to your workstation. What? Excuse me. Watch the apes. Shield disabled? That's impossible. We're a secure house. No. No, this cannot be. This is wrong. What's happened? It's those. The apes are responsible. Who did? Who was it? Was it you? Yeah. It was you? What did you do? Ape, watch him. What about you? Did you touch anything? No, you look like a trouble no. cause. And what about you? <laughs> well, well, did you touch anything? No. Good. No. Watch them. Cover the apes. Oh, look. Airlock's override. You, to the airlock. We're being invaded. This cannot happen. No. You, cover the airlock. No. No. Apes, we have come oh, to this is Wait, no! No, there has been a mistake! No! 
go! No! Ah! No! Quickly! Into this chamber! Come on, quickly! I'll find it will return you to the portal from which you entered. You've had a lucky escape, my friends. You are in grave danger. Quickly! We shall deal with this criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's your fun. <laughs> this way, turn around. Oh, quickly! This one leads you back to the portal. You've had a lucky escape. Go! Go! Sharing a lift with a Cyberman. By the unit protects video surveillance technology, it will be deleted if you don't get my best side, that is. <laughs> well, this is just a, an idea that um, Adrian Reichelsford had, uh, which was to do uh, Matt Smith having David Tennant look over his shoulder at him in a kind of um, uh, possibly possibly uh, not in a not in a nice way, sort of in a in a jealous way. Uh, yeah, well, oi, yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Which it kind of looks like it might be. <laughs> so it'll be so wrong. Yeah. Yes, even nibbly. <laughs> no filming. Rusty, it's ginger. Exactly. It's rusty. If it was rusty, then I'd be a Cyberman. Are you a joint today? Yes, I am. Thank you. Detecting EOC Silurian life form. How are you? I'm not Smith, I'm Tennant. 
I do it my way. Get back under the ground and stay there. Right? But I will allow you rights if you want to go to Nickelodeon channel. Alright? He's alright. He's got bullets bounce off his arm and plate. Bullets bounce off his arm and plate.